Hey guys, welcome to my channel Love to Learn. In this video, I want to explain about UAKA server. Before starting about the UAKA server, I will explain a problem statement first. Then let's understand how UAKA server will uh, help us to overcome this problem. Okay, let's assume we have five microservices A, B, C, D, E, and it will this A, B, C, D will communicate with E using ping client. You guys know about the REST template, REST client, and ping client, right? In this, uh, here we are using ping client for communication and have hard coded this URL for communication purpose. Let's assume due to some reasons my uh, service G URL got changed from a0 a0 forward slash e to localhost a0 81 forward slash e. Okay, then what happens? We are not able to communicate, right? Because the service URL got changed and we are not able to communicate to service E from A or B or C or D. So what we need to do, we need to manually change the uh, configurations or the port numbers, whatever it is in our services and we need to restart the services. Then we are able to uh, communicate with service E as we can do earlier. Okay, but here it's just four applications guys, but let's assume in real time if you have hundreds of applications, how much time it will take for changing the configuration, the other services and resetting the services, it will be a big mess, right? For solving this problem only, we have Eureka server, okay? I can simply say service registry and discovery. Actually, Eureka server is an application that holds information about all the client service applications. Every microservice will register into Eureka server and Eureka server knows all the client service application running on each port and IP addresses. Okay, and this Eureka server is also known as discovery server. Before going to start with the implementation of Eureka server, let's understand how uh, we are trying to communicate uh, and what are the services and what are the internal logic behind them. Okay, we have service A and B. Service A and B will uh, communicate with service with help of pain client if you observe the service application we have added that annotation at the red enable pain clients and we have an endpoint here okay and we're just uh, having path variable so from here if you observe we are just communicating with service c and what the service c will do means we just uh, receive some path variable and it will just concatenate hello with the name which it received and send it as response back to the service here. Now we already have the application started. Let's try to uh, test the endpoint for the service here. And the URL is localhost 8080 only. Here let me say 8080 and service C right. Let me change it to service C here. Yeah. And the sender response and I got the service response with concatenation of hello. Right now, let me try to communicate with help of service A. Okay, and the port number here for service A is A zero eight two. Okay, now let me go here and say A zero eight two. If you observe here, the logs of service A, I got log message right. I just uh, I'm just using some sysout for printing. Okay, for confirmation that the communication went from service A to C. If you observe in the service C, we have a log, right? Earlier we printed when we hit the service for the first time, it is the log which we got, and uh, we got this uh, message printed now when we hit our service A and which contact the service C, and we got the response. Okay, now let me try with the same with the service B also. Okay, let me go to application or props and let me say a zero eight one here. Okay, there is okay. Sorry, here it's service B, right? So here, if you observe, we got the sysout. Uh, I can say the message printed again because we try to hit service B, which contact a service C for the response. Okay, here also we got the log. Yeah. Now let me try to replicate the problem which I said earlier. Let me change the port number to. 9090 here. Now we are just using some default port 8080. Say 9090 and let me restart the application. What happens when I restart the application? The port number will get changed and we are not able to communicate via service A or B with C. Okay. Let's say 
yeah if i rerun the application we will not get the response now what we can do means let's try to solve this problem with help of eureka okay let's start with the implementation now our first step towards implementation of eureka is we need to create a eureka server if you observe here have selected build less maven and the package name and uh artifact name i have given it here and the dependencies added are eureka server and i need web also okay and i have already created a project and imported it guys even if you observe in our palm.xml i will have the same pro uh, dependencies spring web and eureka server the reason is i just want to save our time if i do it from scratch it will take some time for spring tools to import everything right now let me add some couple of properties okay here 8761 is default port number for eureka server whenever you create a eureka server you can uh, use this okay it's not like our eureka will not work without 8761 this port number it will work with the even with the other port numbers also but it is the recommended one okay now let me say at the rate enable Eureka server. Now let me start the application. Okay. Meanwhile, let me add dependencies in our services A, B, C. Okay. Let me go to pound.xml. If you have so, we have only dependencies are open ping and web write. We need to add some one dependency here. Let me go here and let me say Eureka Discovery Client. Let me click on Explore. Okay, let me copy this dependency from here and let me paste it here. I need to do the same for all the services A, B, C. Me go to service B and add the dependency here. Don't worry, guys. What I'll do means I'll commit the code in the GitHub and you can directly download it from there. And I forgot to say one thing in the beginning if you guys don't know Fiend Client, you can refer my microservices playlist, explain everything about the Fiend Client in detail. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. There is some error here. Yeah, okay. Here we don't have being client, right? So we don't have that uh, cloud related dependencies. Add. Let me go here and add this version, the properties, and go down and let me add this dependency management here. yeah now let me close all this tabs and let me go to chrome and let me say 8761 we observe here we don't have any services registered here right now what we need to do we need to go to the all the application dot property file and we need to add a property eureka dot client dot service dot url let me say paste it here and go to our main class and let me say the rate enable eureka eureka okay let's me yeah at the rate enable discovery client i think yes let me copy this uh, annotation and add it in all the services let me open the source main resources of every service and add the same property here Okay, let me add it here and let me open this and add it here and let me copy this annotation and paste it in service A and B. Let me go to service B main method and paste it here. Okay, now we have everything ready, right? have only one thing pending here 
from now we don't need this hard coded url for communication purpose we just need the service name so from the next time even the url got changed there is no effect for this services for communication because urekai will be managing everything now let me close all the applications and wait let me you start this all the service a b c applications go to service a and service b and service c and start them yeah i have started them let's wait for few seconds guys let them get started Let's wait for a few seconds. Now let's go to our Eureka. And if you observe here, our all our services are registered with Eureka A B C. Now let me try to hit our local host A zero eight two, which is nothing but our service A. Local host A zero eight two. Service A. And now I'm getting response. Okay. Let me try to hit from service B. Let me say. Hello, subscribers. Yeah, I'm getting the response right. Now let me try to change URL. I uh, can say port number for service. You know, and let's see whether our Eureka is working fine or not. Let me say nine zero nine eight and restart our service C application. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds for the application to get started. Now our service C port number got changed, right? Now let me try to check it in our UK Eureka server. You can also observe it here. It is nine zero nine eight, and actually here it is showing nine zero nine zero. If you want it to go away, we need to restart Eureka. Uh, let's not do it now. Okay, let me try to hit it from service B again. I'm getting response, right? The reason I am getting the response is now we are communicating with help of service name. Okay, Eureka service will take care of everything from the back end. We don't need to change the port number every time the port number got changed in service C or any other dependent service. Okay, I hope you guys got some idea how the Eureka works. Okay, and uh, if you have many any queries, please uh, comment it in comment section. And for code, check check our GitHub link. Thank you for watching my video.